Hi. Good day. My name is Akin from Swift Speed App Creator. In this tutorial, I'll be taking you through how to integrate your app with AdMob. But before I do so, I would like to explain to you what AdMob is. AdMob is a Google product that is used to monetize apps. So let's say for example you have an app that you want to generate revenue from through ads. AdMob is the best. When you use AdMob, you get revenue. When users open your app and interact with those ads, the Google AdMob pay you per either per click or per impression on the ads that is present in your app. That is the ad that they pasted on your app. So by watching this video i assume you already have the basic knowledge of what admob is and you already know it is a monetizing network for mobile apps so let's get started i'm going to be using the first app here as an example it's called ohos concept before prior to this time admob lets you monetize apps that are not published on google play or other popular app store but now it is difficult to do so because AdMob has changed their policy and before you can monetize your app, your app has to be published on Google Play. So after creating your app on our platform, ensure that you publish it on Google Play, App Store or other popular app network like um, Samsung Galaxy Store and Oppo um, Play Store. All those stores, it is listed on the app AdMob website. So your app just has to be published on one of those marketplaces before you can monetize it. This app is published on Google Play, so I want to monetize it. So I'm going to show you how to integrate AdMob with it. So let's get started. I'm going to go to this download your app tab here. So I'm going to scroll down. You can see the option here. It's called monetize your app. This is where you integrate ads in your app. So, you can use AdMob, you can use Facebook Audience Network, and you can use Facebook Audience Network, and you can use Startup Network Mediation. Uh, so, I'm going to be using just ordinary AdMob in this tutorial. So, I'm going to click here, and I'm going to check this box, and then I'm going to look for this app ID and everything. So, I'm going to show you how to get this app ID. Now, I'm going to click on this. And it's going to take me to add more website if you don't already have an account create an account but i already do have an account so i'm going to close this tab and go into the account so after creating your account your ad prop account should look like this so go to this app tab here and then click add app you can see the list of apps that we've already okay so as you can see in this option it says android ios so if you go to the your app dashboard you can see android ios but i would like to add android first i'm going to go back to my dashboard and i'm going to click android then is the app listed on supported app store i'm going to click yes then i'm going to click on continue so i'm going to look for the app now uh what is the name of the app ohs concept i'm going to search for it ohs concept Good. You can see this is the app made by Swift Speed App Creator. So I'm going to click Add, and I'm going to. If your app is published on other store, you can check these boxes on which of the store is published. Is your app is published on? For example, if your app is on Amazon App Store, you can click on those options and look for your app at Amazon App Store. So, uh, you can click this to learn about supported app stores that you can publish your app on so you can read through the add mob documentation so my happy the app i want to test is published on google play so i've just added the app and then i'm going to click continue okay 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 so the blah 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 so i'm going to click on add app all right my app has been successfully added to my add mob account so i'm going to create an add unit I'm going to click create the banner hard unit first by entering banner. 
I'm going to click create hard unit. So it's going to give me this identity code. So this is the app code and this is the hard unit code. I'm going to copy this app code first. And I'm going to go to my dashboard and paste it as app ID. Then remember that I'm creating for Android first. I'm going to go back and copy this add unit here. Copy this add unit here. Go paste it in this banner ID box. You can see banner ID. I'm going to go to back and then create another hard unit. That's for interstitial. So I'm going to name it the same thing. I'm going to click on create. I'm going to copy this app ID as well. But you know I've copied app ID before. App ID is usually the same for each OS, each Android or iOS. App ID will always be the same. So I'm just going to copy the interstitial ad unit and I'm going to paste here. So I'm done with the integration. Then I can choose to display only either banner or banner with interstitial. So I'm going to display both and click both. And then I'm going to click on save. But you know, I've not done it for iOS, so I'm going to go back. I'm going to go back to the add mob tab here. So I'm going to try to do it for iOS, but be informed that my app is not published for iOS yet. So there is no way to link it with iOS. But if my app is published on iOS, I'll follow the same process. Go here, click on hard app and select iOS and go through the same thing but since my app is not published i only want to publish for android i can just copy this like i said app id is always going to be the same so i can just copy this app id here then so if the settings are like this that means i'm not definitely using the ad mob for ios but just for android so i'm just going to click save now so then the app is saved so if i click on generate apk here like to test the app on my phone i'm going to click on generate apk uh in few minutes my apk will be generated and i'll be able to text my app so it take a while admob will review your app and if successful they would allow hearts to be shown on your app that means they will approve your app and you will start monetizing your app with hearts and start getting revenue from it so it is that simple integrating your app with admob so like this particular app is not published on ios that is why i didn't fill in this banner and interstitial id for ios that means there will be no display of ad for ios because there is actually not an ios version of this app just android version that i created so and i fill in the uh, details for android so definitely if my app is approved by admob the um ad to be shown for android so uh then ensure that this box is ticked this box is, is ticked so that is all that is how to integrate your app with our mobile on our platform it's that simple thank you if you enjoyed this tutorial please do subscribe to our channel for more tutorial video on features how to use features on our platform thank you and have a great day goodbye